Every now and again, you might come across a calculator page on a website as a way for users to be able to make calculations related to the website's products or services. And it's just one of many ways that you can talk to a customer, not just about features on a website, but about value. And a lot of them are ROI focused, comparing a customer's specific current situation with the new setup if you were to switch. So today we're gonna to build our own ROI calculator page. And rather than make you start from scratch, I'll provide a clonable that you can start from. So most of the work is already done for you. So so here's what we're going to do. Step one, you're going to go away and you're going to figure out what you actually want your customers to calculate. It could be an ROI based on a product. It could be an estimate price for a service, or it could be a comparison price against a competitor, really anything. So I'll be waiting here while you figure that out. Step two, you'll figure out what inputs and outputs you want for your calculator. Step three, you'll copy and paste the clonable into your website, only this main grid section. Step four, you'll adjust the inputs and outputs needed to suit your use case. And step five, we're gonna tell ChatGPT about our inputs and outputs and get it to generate some JavaScript for us because why write it from scratch if you don't need to? So let's jump into our calculator. Now I'm gonna assume you've gone away and figured out exactly what you wanna use the calculator for. So we're gonna jump straight into the clonable. So the only part that we're gonna to need to copy over is these two blocks right here for all of our inputs and our outputs. And we will just paste that in on our desired page. Now we can adjust these inputs, outputs, however we want. So if there's not gonna be any cash or money inputs, then we can get rid of the little cash fields. Uh, we can make them all cash, we can make them all numbered, we can add more in if we wanted, we could use a slider range. Uh, and then we can also delete all of the outputs, only have one output or really adjust the outputs however we want. And once we've done that, what we wanna do is go into our inputs, go into our outputs and make sure that we have ID set up so that we can call on them uh, for the JavaScript. So we have one for employees, hourly wage, each of uh, these have their own, the rough monthly software cost has its own, and then all of the outputs do. So not the block, but just the actual text that we're going to change. We have monthly savings, annual savings, efficiency gains, and total ROI. So those are all of our inputs and outputs. We just wanna make sure that we have ID set up for all of them so that we can map them in the JavaScript. Uh, now that we basically have the calculator ready to go, all we need to do is add the code. I can already publish this and you know start adding text in, but not surprisingly, nothing is gonna actually happen. So what we're gonna do is add some code with chat GPT. Uh, let's see if I can talk chat to GPT successfully and actually get a good output on my first go. First of all, good morning, hope you're doing well. Uh, so I have an ROI calculator page on my website and users or customers are gonna be able to go on the page, uh, change the inputs on the page, and that's gonna change the outputs on the page. So I'm gonna talk you through the inputs that I have. I'm gonna give you the IDs so you know what information you're gonna be taking in. And then I'm gonna talk you through the outputs on my page uh, that I want to be changed when those inputs are changed. So firstly, the inputs, we have number of employees. Uh, the ID is employees. We have average hourly wage. This is the second input and that ID is going to be hourly wage. Then we have five check boxes. Um, they can be any IDs. I would just say if a check box is ticked, then manipulate the end price somehow. And then we have a uh, software cost. That is the third input. That's the third ID and input. So we have, um, just to summarize, three inputs and then five check boxes. So those are all of the inputs and then the output side, this is gonna be for the ROI. For the first one, the first one that we have is total monthly savings. Uh, and that is going to be using the ID monthly savings. The second is total annual savings. And the ID is gonna be annual savings. And not surprisingly, that's uh, the calculation for that is gonna be 12 times the monthly savings. And then we have efficiency gains. Now, a lot of this is gonna be compared uh, to the old way that the customer is doing things. So based on my inputs and my outputs, I want you to have a think and 
I want you to find a uh, an old kind of use case for the tools they might be using as in several uh, tools and compare that to the new, new use case that we're giving them, which is only going to be one tool. Our tool is only $24 a month, whereas all of the other tools combined um, is a lot more. And our tool has a set price per employee. So it doesn't how, matter how many employees you have, it's the same price. Whereas other tools scale based on the number of employees. One other output that I forgot to mention, it's the final output is the total ROI. That output is going to be a percentage. It's the only percentage based uh, output that is on the page. Start with that information and I will adjust it as needed. Um, I don't need any of the HTML or the CSS. I already have that set up on my page. I only need the JavaScript. Thank you. Let's submit that and see what it gives us. So already it's giving us some suggestions for how it is gonna run the calculations. Pretty much all I'm gonna do is copy and paste the code in uh, and make sure that the IDs are correct. In fact, if I want, I can map the IDs on my page to the IDs that ChatGPT has given me so that when I continue to refine it in ChatGPT, I don't need to ask it to change the IDs every time. Alternatively, I could just ask ChatGPT to change the IDs, but um, I'll make it easier. I'll just use whatever IDs it wants to use. So let's start by opening this guy up. I'm gonna grab this JavaScript, go into my calculator. And it's gonna be uh, after the body so that it can read all of the inputs and outputs. I'm gonna add in script, all of that good code, and then script again. So save this, and I'm gonna go through and change these IDs to the ones that ChatGPT wants to give me. So I've gone through and changed all of those IDs. What we're gonna do now is just publish it and see how the code's going so far, see what adjustments we need to make to finalize it. I'll probably go into console and check if there's any issues. So, you know, some of these numbers obviously need to be adjusted. Efficiency gains um, might not be a USD cost, uh, in fact, it could be an hourly thing, it could be amount of hours, so that could just be changed to hours. But for the most part, this is already working pretty well. And the only thing that we wanna make sure is that the R side that it's comparing it to, the numbers for our tool are correct. So I've just done this based on random numbers as of now, but as you adjust it to your tool, your product, your services, you just wanna make sure that the output, sorry, that the input side for those things are accurate. So that's how we can create and customize an ROI calculator page inside of Webflow. And it's obviously just one of many ways that you can show customers the different ways that you bring value from your service, from your product. But there are many other different ways that you can do this. So I've created a page on my website, which is a library of different clonables and tactics, adding different content types by adding pop-ups or by adding pages like this, pages that show customers how you're providing them value. Thanks for watching. As always, stay warm, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.